Hello all, welcome back to the GVR Automation channel. Right, please subscribe to the channel. If still anyone not subscribed, you will get uh, more latest right, automation <coughs> videos on the latest technologies and interviews. Right, uh, quickly we will go through it. Right, uh, today topic is Infosys interview questions and answers that are asked right in the interviews. Right, I have collected these questions from the different uh, right uh, sources right uh, from my colleagues and uh, right uh, they have posted in the channels right I have collected and segregated questions I have given detailed answers right we will go through quickly right there are infosys we will have a two technical rounds one manager one HR right we will have a selenium Java right in java core java questions and then no programming questions and then test ng framework cicd sql manual testing questions api manager round questions behavioral some tips and tips tips to prepare right coming to selenium we will start with the selenium interview question right there are multiple questions right quickly we will go through it one by one right what are the different types of uh, weights in selenium right i have written a very detailed explanation but we, while uh, right explaining i will go right a uh, very high level if anyone requires this document right please comment in the right comment you provide your mail id gmail id i will share this uh, document to you right uh, here if you detail if you go it will take longer time right now we will get interest Right, I will go very quickly. Uh, everyone will know, but what are the right questions asked? What are the different types of weights in right? We know what are the different weights. We have a implicit weight, explicit weight, fluent weight. Right. Implicit weight, why we require these weights to handle the synchronization issues? Right. Right. When our page loads slowly, or sometimes it will load very slowly, sometimes right, it will, some application will take uh, more fast if we use thread dot slip right what is the problem we will get a lot of issues with the thread dot slip it will increase the wait time and failures also more chances are there to fail so we will use synchronize this synchronization weights dynamic weights right implicit implicit weight we will apply on the driver driver dot manage the timeouts dot implicit weight duration of second how many seconds we want it is applicable to all the elements it is applicable to all the elements if element is not available within specific time it will throw no such element exception right it is globally applicable right then uh, explicit weight explicit weight we will use for a specific condition right right whenever suppose implicit weight you have applied already suppose some of the elements are taking more time right or right we will uh, use some weight conditions there we cannot increase implicit weight because if we increase it will applicable to all so i want only for one or two elements i want to use explicit weight if we want to use specific element we will go for explicit weight. what is the syntax driver weight equal new web driver weight pass the driver and the how many seconds we want here we will use the weight dot until method there is expected conditions uh, class is there there are a lot of static methods, visibility of element, element to be clickable, alert is available, wait until number of windows. Right, there are a lot of methods available based on our condition. We can use see here, visibility of element located, element to be clickable, text to be present in element, alert is present. These are some of, there are a lot of methods available in the expected conditions. Based on our scenario, we can wait particular element. Right, fluent weight. Fluent weight and explicit weight both are used to wait for the specific element only. But here polling time. Additionally, for fluent weight, what is polling time? We can ignore the exceptions also and frequency also. Right, but a little bit the syntax is we have to remember. Fluent weight weight equal to new fluent weight dot with the timeout. What is the maximum timeout? And then polling every maximum timeout it will wait until it and polling every means what it will every here one second every one second it will search in the page until 10 seconds if it is uh, until that it will ignore the exception 
Right here. If it is not able to find after 10 seconds also, it will throw timeout exception. Right, that is about the right, implicit explicit. I am not going in depth. Right, if anyone requests document, please comment in the comment section with your Gmail ID. I will share. Right, what do, how do you handle dynamic web elements? Right, there are multiple ways. Right, there are multiple ways. Okay, how to handle dynamic web elements? Right, we can use contains in the export. Right, a tag name, contains, attribute name, at the right, what is the value, partial text. We want to, what is the partial text, we want to validate. Right, we can use partial, one is a contains method, one is a starts with. We can use in the export the starts with also. Right, then uh, text also. Right, tag name, text equal to, right, what is the text. And then normalize space. We can use sometimes space will come before and after. Right, uh, then we can use the uh, normalize space also. And then we can use following sibling, preceding siblings also. Right, uh, and we can use parent, child, right, ancestors. Right, these are all we can use. And R R and in the XPath we can use. And these are all used, right? Uh, prefer contains XPath for dynamic attributes. Text when attribute values are not stable. Leverage following sibling parent when dealing with the structured layouts. Combine conditions when needed. Right, these are the multiple ways we can use to handle dynamic. Uh, locators right write a selenium code to get the snippet very basic question right but we can get uh, by using driver.get title or javascript executor also we can get uh, by using javascript executor also we can create the javascript object and then execute script written document dot title we have to type cache to string right written document dot title we can also in this both ways we can get the title of the web page how do you perform mouse action and uh, keyboard actions? Right, uh, right click. Right click means mouse actions and mouse movements. Uh, this, okay, these are all related to mouse only. Right, uh, first uh, what we have to do? We have to locate uh, the first element where we want to right click. Then create the instance of action class and perform contest click. If you want to right click, we have to do contest click. Create the object of actions class, pass the driver and actions dot contest click on the which element we have to identify first element pass that element and then perform right it will do right click on that right to simulate mouse movements right mouse movements we can use move to element we can use move to element right action object first create move to element dot perform move to element dot perform if you want to do click move to element click dot perform right right click means contest click Move to element means it will mouse over. Right? These are the different things we can do. Mouse actions by using actions class. Drag and drop. Drag and drop also similar to action class only. We can use drag and drop method. First we have to identify source and target. Then we can create the object of actions class. Action dot drag and drop. Then dot perform. It will drag the source element to the target element. Right, those should be draggable. Right, we cannot drag any elements. Elements should be draggable only. Then only we can. Otherwise, we will get issues. What is the purpose of a driver in Selenium? Right, what is the purpose? Right, in Selenium, driver. What is the role of driver? Right, it is the inter core interface between web driver API and browser. Right, web driver API. Our web driver API means Java code, say, right, Python code, whatever code we will write, and then browser mediator between these two driver controls the browser. Right, it will sense the open, right, navigate, interact with close, close the browser. Right, by using driver update, what we can do? We can open the browser, we can close the browser, we can interact. Acts as a bridge between the Selenium test scripts and the browser. It is a bridge between the script and the browser. Handles browser specific uh, details, right? Chrome, right? Example Chrome driver, Jaco driver, right? Different browsers it will use, use it for uh, different drivers and performs automation, allows for interacting the elements, right? By using driver, we can perform the actions on the elements also, right? What is the page factory in Selenium and why, why do we use it, right? Page factory. 
right a page factor is a class in selenium that is utilized used to initialize the web elements right page factor is a class in selenium is used to initialize the web elements of a page in the page object model both we will combine mostly right we cannot use only one both we will combine page object model is a design pattern page factor is a class in selenium right why do you use page factory right to improve the maintain code maintainability right both page object model page factor we will use to improve the maintainability and efficient element initialization by using find by by using find by redundant code right reduce redundancy right clear cleaner test code lazy initialization we can use lazy initialization at the rate find by how to use this at the rate page factory we have to use the to find the element we have to use at the rate find by at the rate find by on the top of we can use id name eight type of locators are there right any locator we can use then here important thing is in the constructor we have to call page factory dot init elements then only elements will be initialized otherwise it will not initialize the page factory is used to initialize the elements of a page right that is write a script to scroll the web page right there are multiple ways scroll down by pixel i want to scroll scroll the page 500 pixel down vertically right we can adjust x and y how to first we have to create the javascript executor object and execute script window dot scroll by window dot scroll by we can use we can zero x position is zero i want to scroll down right so 500 pixels we can give if you want to scroll up we will give negative right if you want to scroll down positive if you want to scroll right window dot scroll by bottom of the page i want to scroll bottom of the page execute script window dot scroll to here scroll to not scroll by scroll to zero down means we have to get the this height of the document how how to get the height of the document document dot body dot scroll height there is a javascript function document dot body dot scroll height it will give the height of the page then it will scroll down entire page down if i want to scroll entire page up zero zero scroll to zero zero or minus document dot body scroll height it will reverse the direction it will go if i want to scroll to specific element arguments of zero dot scroll into view true comma element arguments of zero scroll into view true which element we want to scroll right these are the different ways we can scroll right then uh, how do you right uh, how do you handle multiple window controls in selenium Right, windows right window handle means uh, suppose there are what are the um, uh, important methods in the right windows to handle driver dot get window handle return the current window id right get window handle it will return all window ids right if you want to switch between the windows so we will use driver dot switch to window we will pass the window handle and close if you want to close the window driver dot close if you want to return to the parent window we can use driver dot switch to window id of the parent some example right before opening the child window we have to get the parent window right then click on the click on the any element then it will open the child window then we will get by using get window handle we can get what is the return type sometimes we will ask the interviewer will ask what is the return type set right set will not allow duplicates so it will always have a unique ids of the windows we can iterate a simple logic we can iterate all the windows if handle is not equal to parent window handle that is the child window switch to it right just break it once it is switched all right simple that then if you want to close this close if you want to get the title driver dot get title switch if you want to switch back to parent window driver dot switch to dot window once we close the child window we have to must switch back to parent window otherwise control still in child only right it will not uh, we cannot click any action we cannot perform on the parent we have to switch back to the parent window right what is the key difference between selenium 3 and 4 right architecture wise there is a change architecture and protocol selenium 3 uses json wire protocol right if you want to communicate between client and server but selenium 4 w3c protocol if you want to interact between client and server w3c protocol browser integration right driver integration previously chrome driver extends directly remote web driver class 
but selenium for they have chrome driver will extend chromium driver chromium driver will extend remote driver in between there is a chromium driver is came to handle the cdp chrome devtools protocol to right to handle this they have provided chromium driver grid enhancement right uh, in the selenium 3 manual startup of hub and node, node jars uh, for distributed testing which right uh, we have to manually start the hub and node but in selenium for improved improved more by using right uh, docker for deploying containers include right we can simplify the node user interface also grid was very right improved they have improved a lot and with the single command we can open node and uh, hub and nodes both right uh, supports docker deploying previously also it is supporting but it is now more uh, right uh, reliable the right consistent right uh, selenium 4 improves the grid uh, user interface wise and then uh, right we no need to start uh, hub and node both uh, separately in single command we can right uh, we can the reference means you can take from lavender test and uh, ide improvements right we are not using but uh, ide also they have improved a lot previously it is supporting only for firefox now it is integrated with the chrome also chrome firefox both right uh, relative locators right uh, relative locators now selenium, uh, selenium 3 we don't have right selenium 4 introduced uh, right relative locators are also known as friendly locators browser features they have implemented in selenium 3 we don't have right dev tools integration we cannot uh, uh, right uh, deal with the browser console network logs but then uh, they have provided a chrome dev tools protocol in the selenium 4 directly we can capture network traffic right we can deal with those right what are the locators in selenium why they are important right locators are used to in selenium why we need to interact with the web elements right why they are important means we have to if you want to interact with the web elements i want to enter the text click on the elements right select the drop down right we require these elements by using these locators only we can identify the web elements Right, what are those, those by eight types we have by id name class name tag name css xpath link test partial link test now in selenium for relative locators also right above below right left right why they are important right precise element identification to identify the elements automation of the user actions so if you want to do user actions we require dynamic and responsive applications efficient and maintainable improved debugging Right, what is the syntax for taking a screenshot? Right, we already know. Driver, we need to, we have a take screenshot interface. We have to create the object of take screenshot. How we will create by type casting it? By type casting it. Then get a screenshot as output type. We can use either file or bytes or base64, anything. Right, then here, we, here I am using a file. It will return a file object. Then we can copy. Now there are multiple ways to copy file utils dot copy or file handle handler dot copy source and destination where i have taken screenshot i want to store somewhere right that's why we have to give the screenshot and where i want to store in my system right these are the different uh, questions right asked in the infosys uh, interview for automation for selenium right in the next session we will see the Right, Java questions. What are the Java questions asked in? Right, just uh, if you like my way of teaching and content, just subscribe to the channel, like and share to your friends. Right, if you require this document, please comment in the comment section with your mail ID. I will provide the access to the this document. Thanks for watching.